I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I like to play solitaire because it gives me an opportunity to practice decision making by playing four hands at one time. If you can compartmentalize your decision making one player at a time, there's a lot that you can learn from playing solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. We're going to do five player betting for this game of solitaire. After the Charleston, pause the video so that you can look at all the hands and then pick who you think will win the game. Write your guess in a comment below the video. Do not read any of the comments in the video until after the game and we'll see what the consensus was. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hands and try to find the strengths and figure out if we can maybe identify a category to play. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one. For this player, I think evens would be a good category. Two, six, eight, two, six, eight. The only problem is there are no fours. That's a gap. We do have a pair of white dragons. White dragons opposite our multiple. We do have two eights. We might be able to play like numbers with eights. The dragon hand in consecutive run uses the same dragon, the corresponding dragon. So this dragon goes with this suit. For the dragon hand under 2468, same thing, matching dragon. If we get nines, maybe we could play a pair hand, second from the bottom, two consecutive numbers with the matching dragon. We really don't need this. We would need a seven dot or an eight dot, nine bam or an, a nine bam or a seven bam. And of course we'd need a flower. Since we're keeping dragons, let's keep the wind. I'm thinking like numbers with eights or maybe the pair hand. Let's keep the sixes because maybe we could do something consecutive if sevens come in. So by process of elimination, let's pass those. I think that's a, a pretty good plan here. Like numbers with eights. Pair hand, second from the bottom, or something consecutive with seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, in two suits maybe. Maybe we should keep the nine and give up the five. Because six, seven, eight, nine, four number range, even though we have no other cracks, that might help. Okay, let's look and see what we can do for player two. Four, five, that's consecutive. I don't think we need the north. Four, five is consecutive. One through five right there. All one through five. 
and a flower. The flower hands in consecutive run do have mixed suit options. The first one, third one down, Kongs in three consecutive numbers, each in a different suit. And then number five, one suit. We'd have to throw away a pair. So I don't think I would play the fifth hand down. I think consecutive run and probably the third hand down or the second from the bottom. I think those are the options for this player. I would discard those three. Six, nine is a little bit risky. I think to, I was going to say one nine would work, but that that would fit a year hand right there. I would not do that. Maybe a one six. So we're not passing a six nine. Okay, let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Look at that. One two, three, four, six, eight, nine, two, four, six, eight, three, four. I think we can get rid of the east and the nine, three, four, consecutive, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, eight. Let's risk passing those and give ourselves options. Consecutive run here too. Let's see what we can do here for North. I was wondering where the Jokers were. Look, no Jokers. We got some here though. Pairs, White Dragon, nine and seven. So let's see if we can use them all. There, there is a Dragon Hand in odds that uses three suits. The dragon is an off suit, so we would not be able to use white with nine. Now we could play a year hand. Look at all those ones, twos, and nines. That would leverage two of the three multiples. Since we have no flowers, there are, there are two hands that we could play. Second one down and the news one, the concealed one. We only have one wind. We need to pick another discard though, because I'm not passing a pair. We could play like numbers maybe even. Let's give up on the wind hand or one of the suits. Let's give up on the one. Because our pair is with the nine. We need a one dot with that nine, with the options that we have. So let's go ahead and give up the one. Okay, we're ready to do our first pass. So here, consecutive run six through nine, or like numbers with eights. Maybe the consecutive run pair hand. Here, consecutive run, consecutive run, like numbers with nines or the year. So we're going to pass east to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. We got a seven. And we have tiles we can pass. Six, seven, eight, nine. We don't have to pick a hand yet. We've got discards. So I would just gather six, seven, eight, nine and dragons. We got a five. One, two. I don't think we need this two or the nine. Four, five. If we can get a three dot, three, four, five mixed suit Kongs, the potential's there. Let's pass one of each suit. We got a one and a six. I think we should break up the fives. We need to pick a hand, either two, four, six, eight, or one through five. And we have a gap of no five. 
The one through five hand requires a pair this year, pair fives. If we could get even one five, it would feel better. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two, four, six, eight has six. One through five with a gap has seven, one more tile. Let's go ahead and give up an eight. We could give up one tile. We could see what happens. We got a nine. Like numbers with nines or the year. Now that we have east, west, we maybe could play the last hand under that category, pair twos. We don't have any twos and we need, we need a pair of twos. Let's keep like numbers. This is going to be a little risky passing two, eight and one suit, but I like the idea of like numbers. And we do have potential for the year, though we have two gaps. Okay. Cross pass, east and west. South and north. We got an eight. And we have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand still. Just gather every consecutive number you can. Don't worry about what suit it is. Here we have three, four, five. Let's break that up a little bit. Let's pass, oh, not like numbers, no. Let's pass those three. Passing like numbers this year is gonna be really, really not good. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got the five. Oh yeah, one through five. So the convention here is pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. No gaps. Joker bait, we can pass those. If you wanna know more about joker bait, look for videos in the video description below. Basically, you hold a pair you don't need for later in the game, you discard one, someone makes an exposure with a joker and you use the second one to exchange that joker. That's the idea. Let's see what North got. We got a nine, a two and a one. There's a one nine, two nine. We don't need a pung, but I think we could maybe give up on the wins now. I'm still thinking like numbers with, like numbers with nines. We could maybe do the first hand, but we don't have any flowers. We do have two nine or one nine. And then we need a pung of ones and a pung of nines in the other suit. So for example, we would do one nine there and use this for 2019 and then me, maybe these for the flowers. So we want to cross, we're on first left now. We have to make a choice or pass one blind. So 2019, we don't need this and that would be a horrible pass. I would not do that. So we have to choose between like numbers or the year. And because we have no flowers and no other dragons, I think the year is going to be the way to go here. Consider your gaps when you are needing to make a decision if you're playing tandem categories or categories that share tiles, like in this case, like numbers. I think we could probably get rid of the nine bam and play the very first hand, hoping for flowers. Okay, so we did across. Now we're gonna go first left. East passes to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. We're looking for six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, right there, fit right in. Now we have to make a choice because we have one discard. 
so that was first left. So at this point, anybody could stop the Charleston. But this is the only player who knows exactly what hand they're playing. Maybe this one too. They may know the hand they're playing. This one, we have to make a choice. I'm thinking 7-8, seven, 7-8 eight, seven, eight pair hand, 7-8 pair hand. Then that way we can use the dragons. Oop, this one. We don't need the sixes anymore, really. Seven, eight. Let's see here. We have a gap. We have lots of gaps. I just wonder if like numbers may be the way to go here. Eights with dragons, joker bait. Let's pass those. Eights with dragons, like numbers. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Five. Oh, four, five, four, five. Tiles to pass. We still don't have to pick a hand. No keepers. We got a two bam. We gave up the nine. Okay, that was first left. We're gonna go to second left. Nobody is stopping the Charleston. So east to north, north, west, west, south, south to east. We were looking for eights. Let's give up the six dot instead of passing year tiles. Let's pass those three. No keepers. No keepers. Keeper, maybe. Nine. Like numbers with nines, maybe. We have to make a choice. Like numbers with nines. Let's give up the nine and stick with the year. We need flowers badly. Okay, we did second left. Now we're going across. East and west. North and south. No keepers. We can pass those. No keepers. Now we could maybe, no, no, no. I was thinking we could maybe do one, two, three, four, four. This would be the fourth hand down. We'd have to throw away a pung of fives or two, three, four, five, five, but we'd have to throw away a pair of fours. The convention there is pair, 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 Kong, Kong. The Kongs are like numbers. I'd rather leverage the like numbers. And we have a gap. One, two, three, four, four, no one. Two, three, four, five, five. We have no four dot. Yeah, I would not keep the two. Let's keep going with four, five. Ooh, look at, we got a pung. I don't think there's anything we can do there though. Let's see. I don't think so. Not in one suit. We do have a pair hand potential though. One through seven pairs. One, two, three, four pair. We need a seven dot, five dot, two dot. Let's just see if pair hand comes in for this player. That pair hand is the fourth one down under singles and pairs. We got the nine bam. Nine bam for potential like numbers. We want to cross, we're on last right now. This hand is just really not coming in and we have no flowers. No flowers. I think I would pass one blind. 
and keep the nine for a not like number option and leverage these white dragons with like numbers. All we need is one other dragon to make it work. So we're doing last right. East passes to south, south to west, west to north, and north down to east, passing blind. No keepers. Keeper. Four, five, four, five, two tiles to pass. So I think if we can try to figure out what they could play at this point so they can pass fully. Now they could play the second from the bottom under consecutive run. Kong of Flowers, they have one, and then Pear Pung, Pear Pung in two suits, two consecutive numbers, four, five, four, five. Let's give these up and play the second from the bottom, or if we can get dragons as a long shot, the pair hand, second from the bottom under singles and pairs. We got a two. Wow. They're two away from a pair hand. All they need here is a five dot or a seven dot, and they're ready on that seven run pair hand. They got a one. That would help 2019, one, nine. These can be the flowers. I would risk passing that. Or maybe pass two. I think I would pass it because we can pung and pung. And then this could be the flowers. All we need is one flower to get ready. So now we're gonna do optional cross, east and west. They're gonna, they're passing one blind. And then north and south. We'll just pass fully and risk it. No keepers. Joker bait. No keepers here. We need red dragon or green dragon for the pair hand. So they have four discards. No keepers. They got a two, but I don't think that's gonna be helpful for the year. So they have three discards. We're done with the Charleston. Pause the video here so you can figure out which player might win. And I'm going to place my bet with this. And I'm going to put it on East Rack. Right here. I'll use this to mark whose turn it is. We're going to start by discarding two crack. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw seven crack. Let's get rid of the white dragon up here. We need a seven dot. Oh, <gasps> look. Oh, my gosh. We got it. East. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Crazy business. We need a five dot or a seven dot to get ready on that pair hand after one discard. Oh man, that's really crazy. Let's draw. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let's discard the north. Wow, this is interesting. Let's draw south. This is joker bait. Seven crack, joker bait, discard. Let's get rid of the win. Wow, look at that. Their hand is set. We need to pung here and be ready to win on a one crack, two bam. Two players are one away from a winning hand. Four, 
four crack. Let's get rid of nine crack since it's a year tile. Nine crack. Nobody can take it. Red. Potential pair hand. Always remember to check your pair hand for the corresponding category that you're playing if you have no jokers. Let's discard the nine bam. Joker bait. Drawing. We need a five dot or a seven dot. Red dragon. Let's discard the six bam. Maybe someone will make an exposure with a dragon. Let's draw. One dot. Don't need it. This is pear hand. Flower. We could maybe keep that for a little while. Let's discard the four crack. This player, they're playing a pear hand or the second from the bottom, the four is a pear. So we don't need to call that. They got another flower. Let's go ahead and discard the three dot. We'll give up on the mixed suit Kong hand since we have a pair here. If we can get a green dragon, I might play that pair hand. Four or five dragon, four or five dragon. That's a pretty hand. Let's draw. Joker. Let's get rid of the red dragon. Wow. 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 Five dot. Two discards ready to win on a one crack. Drawing. Seven bam. Seven bam. Seven eight. Seven eight. Let's get rid of the sixes. Six dot. Nine crack. That's been thrown. We need a seven dot or a five dot. Four dot. Okay, now we need to decide here. We're one away from a pair hand, or we could switch to one through five. I think I want to push for the pair hand. Four dot. Three crack. Eight bam, like number keeper. Let's get rid of the six bam. Six crack. One bam. This player could take that, but we do not need a joker. We need a one crack to win. I'd rather not expose because we have no other flowers and playing with a joker list hand in mind, they'd have to draw in or to expose jokers in order to create their Kong of flowers. I don't think I would take that one bam. I think I would just play to win as is. Five dot. This is concealed. We just got through the second wall. We're heading now into the middle game. Everybody should at a minimum know what category they're playing. Here we're playing like numbers with eights, concealed, pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. They need some help with their eight. Here we're playing consecutive run, pair hand maybe, or second from the bottom, pair hand, fourth one down, ready to win on a year hand, the very first year hand, kong, two Pung Pung. Two dot. East. Nobody wants wins. Drawing. West. Seven dot, don't need it. Cringe. One five and one seven are out. 
four bam. Nine dot. They're good to go. Joker. All right, now we got two jokers here. With two jokers, we have two discards with two jokers. Or we could switch to one through five. Pung here, we would need another joker or a three dot or five dot to make this work. There's a seven dot and a five dot out. I'm gonna push, same. Five crack. This player needs to make a choice right here. Second from the bottom, Kong, pair, pung, pair, pung. They could pung that. I think we should pung it and not play the pair hand because we have a gap with no green dragon. Let's discard the red. So we're going to commit to the second from the bottom under consecutive run. Kong, pair, pung, pair, pung. We need a five dot or a seven dot. Eight crack. This is concealed. Three crack. One crack. Let's keep the sevens for options. One crack. Mahjong. Mahjong for North. Kong, 2019, one, nine, three suits. This player threw the one crack just now. So this player pays this player double. So that's a 25 point hand. They would pay 50 points or 50 cents. These two players would pay 25. Let's see who I bet on. I bet on West. I wanted this player to win with either the first hand under consecutive run or the pair hand. They were one away, but North drew these jokers, which really helped, and the flower. Who did you bet on? Were you right? Write in the comment section what you thought about this game. That was a really fast game. Eight discards, a win in eight discards. Lots of jokers though, and they drew a flower. I think that flower was a weakness and they picked one. And then of course, the jokers, they do come in handy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.